It's Heal Heat time. Hi everybody and welcome to Heal Heat. My name is George Coles and this is going to be a prediction challenge. And once again, we're going up against my good friend Paul from Papa Pickett Gaming. This time, it's for WWE Battleground 2017. Let's jump right in. We'll explain it in a minute. First match, Ty Dillinger versus Aiden English. I'm going with the perfect 10, tie for the win, uh, that's going to be on the pre-show, so I don't see a reason why Ty doesn't win, I see Aiden English being more of a glorified enhancement talent at this point, I don't think they have anything specifically planned for him. Next up, we have Brizongo versus an unknown team, the team that's been destroying their, uh, their office. This is so hard to pick. It could be anything from something stupid like the Ascension to a historical team coming back for one night to a new team coming from NXT or from somewhere else. Not knowing who it's going to be, I'm going to go with Brizongo for the win. I might be, I might get hosed on that, but... I just have a feeling that whoever it is, even if it, it might be a legendary team, I think they're going to beat them. Um, maybe like someone like the Headbangers a couple years back did a little run, or uh, Billy and Billy Gunn and Road Dog, or something to that effect. Next up, we have Sami Zayn versus Mike Kanellis. Again, I don't, I don't think they're going to make Mike Kanellis lose this early in his career. I see him picking up the win. Sammy can obviously lose by being distracted by Maria or cheating or whatever may the circumstances be. Continue the food feud going. I see Mike picking up the win. I think they're going to want to build something with him. Next up, we have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. I'm going with Shinsuke on this one. This one's a hard one to pick. Historically, the WWE likes to take their money in the bank winners and have them lose for a while so it's a surprise when they win the money when they cash in the money in the bank you're not expecting it I see him kind of going the same route with this plus I don't think again much like with uh, Canellis I don't think they're going to have Shinsuke lose this early into his main roster push I think they see him as a potential WrestleMania main event guy, and hopefully I'm correct, and hopefully he gets a win here. Just saying. Next up, we have the five-way number one contender match for the Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch versus Natalya Neidhart versus Lana versus Tamina Snuka. This could easily break down to Tamina and Lana teaming up and getting the win, one of those two. I honestly think it's going to be Charlotte. I think Charlotte's going to pull it off. I think they're going to finally pull the trigger, have Charlotte be the face of the women's division on SmackDown, give Naomi the belt for another month so she can show the pretty lights on and off some more. But I think Charlotte's going to eventually take it, and we're going to see her, much like she was on Raw, being the focal point of SmackDown for the women's side. Next up, we have the Usos versus the New Day. This is another hard one to pick. A couple of these I kind of went against the grain a little bit because I haven't been doing good so, so good in these challenges. This was one of them. I'm going to pick the New Day. I think it's about time the Usos drop the belts. And the New Day could be fun to re, you know, do another rematch. The New Day goes on to whoever, Brizongo or... Whatever is left in the division, either way you look at it, New Day can continue to make it interesting. There's only so many more feuds that the Usos can do and keep it interesting, where New Day opens up a brand new list of contenders and list of matches and list of feuds. So I'm going New Day. Next up we have Styles 
AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens for the U.S. title. I see AJ winning. I don't see them giving him the U.S. title and taking it off this quickly. I think he's going to carry it through SummerSlam to have a big match at SummerSlam for the belt. Just my opinion. I could be wrong. Next up, we have John Cena versus Rusev in a flag match. I think we see Cena win. I think there's a reason for it, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I can't see John Cena not winning a flag match. It just doesn't make sense to me. Next up, the final match of the night, the main event in a Punjabi prison match. Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton for the third time. Another one that it's so hard to pick because I don't, I don't see them having Randy lose three times in a row. However, Jinder is doing, I think, better than expected as a world champion, so I don't see where they would want to take it off of him. Maybe put it on Randy for the SummerSlam reasons, but I don't see that. I see the Singh brothers somehow getting their way into the Punjabi prison. I mean, they can literally squeeze in between the, the squares that make it up. So, I see them getting in, Jinder picking up the win in some nefarious type way, cheating his way to win again, moving on to John Cena, which I think John Cena and Jinder Mahal at SummerSlam is going to be a bigger match than Randy Orton versus whoever, in my opinion. I think John Cena, flag bearer, just won a flag match versus Jinder Mahal, the evil foreigner, which we all know. It's the stupid WWE booking. It's the 80s booking, but I think that's where they're going to go with it, honestly. So I see Jinder keeping the belt. Let's do a quick recap, and then we'll go on to some of that other stuff. Dylan Travers over English. Brizongo over the unnamed team. Mike Kanellis over Sami Zayn. Shinsuke over Baron, Charlotte winning the five-way, New Day beating the Usos, Styles beating Owen, Cena beating Rusev, Jinder Mahal beating Randy Orton, and the tiebreaker, should we end up in a tie, is going to be the score of the winner of the British Open's final round. A little bit convoluted. We like to do it among, we like to have the tiebreaker related to a big sporting event of the weekend, the British Open, or just the Open, as it's known in some parts, is the biggest sporting event of this weekend. So the final round, the winner of the British Open, their final round score is going to be the tiebreaker. I'm going with 70 as the score. That's what I'm going at. So the one that's closest to it is going to win. Or hits it right on the bottom. And now what's at stake? I spoke to Paul. He's told me what the punishment's going to be. He's got the... It was his turn to pick again because I've lost twice in a row now. So hopefully, this is my comeback. Be out there cheering for me, guys. The loser of the pick'ems, the loser's going to have to go by a nickname for some videos. And what's going to happen is we have nine matches here. For every match you pick wrong as a loser, that's the number of videos you have to go by a different name other than your own for that many videos. For example, let's say I lose and I get six wrong. For my next six videos that I produce, I'm going to have to call myself whatever nickname Paul comes up with. So, I'll start off the show saying this is, thank you for watching Heel Heat. My name is whatever he says. Eminem, Slim Shady, whatever he wants to call me. I'm going to let you guys in on a secret. If I win Papa Pickett over at Papa Pickett Gaming, for his videos, he's going to be Papa Smurf. So that's what we're at, what's at stake. If I win, Paul Papa Pickett's going to be calling himself Papa Smurf for however many he picks wrong. If he wins, I don't know what he's going to pick for me. He hasn't told me. I haven't told him. He's going to find out just like you are watching this video. So cheer for me. Hashtag Papa Smurf for the win. 
whatever you want to do. Make sure you like, comment on this video, uh, share the video. I'm going to post a link down under here to Paul's page so you can see his predictions and follow along if you'd like. Keep following me. Keep up, keep up uh, the support. I appreciate every bit of it. Um, something I didn't speak about often, and this is going to be... This week we celebrate the fifth anniversary of Heel Heat. Um, there's going to be another video I produce right after this one that's also coming out today, so tune into that as well. I don't know what order they're going to come in because there's a set time for this one and not for that one. So that may come out first, or this may come out first. But either way, watch them both. Watch Paul's videos. Check out Paul's page. Paul's awesome. He does some cool unboxings. He does some play-alongs with some video games. Um, he's just a cool guy, a good guy in general. Some, some vlogs about life and pretty much anything else that he finds interesting. But check it out. Check mine out. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Do the same for Paul. With all that being said, my name is George Coles, and this may be the last time I say it for a while. And this has been a Heel Heat Prediction Show.